James Elder for IFL TV in association with Matt Please, Jim Marbella. I'm in Rose of ABC today. With me, I've got two-time British champion Lenny Lightning Doors. What's happening, then? All right, mate. All good. I'm all right. Also joined by Ian Burbage, a.k.a. Uncle Price. What's happening? All good, mate. All, all good. good. Thank you. So I'd like to hear. Just, just watch a bit of your sparring, then. I hope you don't mind me telling the viewers how intense that actually was. You and Romeo Romero didn't really... Well, you left it all in the ring, didn't you? Certainly did, mate. No, it was great. It was everything we needed. You know, we're working towards the European. Um, if it is going to be against Di Rocco, then, you know, Di Rocco throws some awkward shots from awkward angles, and uh, Romeo does exactly that. And if we can defend against him and miss his shots, then hopefully we, we'll be all right with um, Di Rocco. Awkward being the word. Some of the shots Romeo throws, I don't think you'd find in any boxing textbook, would you? No, but that's his style, and that's what's, what's good about him, to be honest, and that's why he's a little bit unique. And hopefully, you know, it improves us as well at the same time. Indeed, indeed. What's going on then? Obviously, we know what happened first time you went out to face the Rocco for the EBU title. Don't want to keep going on about it and harping on about it. I sound like the Lenny Dawes sub story. We know everyone yeah. knows what happened. It's been well documented. What What's going on? Where do we go from here? Well, we're number one challenger. Um, goes to purse bids on the 1st of July. Um, he's had five defences. We've got to see what, what they want to do with it. You know, he's number four with the IBF, number nine with the WBC. So, yeah, if a shot comes, he may vacate. We don't know, but we've just got to wait and see what, what's going to happen, really. Yeah, so we've got to stay in the gym, keep busy, and we're going to be ready. For you, it's, I mean, it's very important that you kick on past this level. You've had the British twice. You've won the EU twice. You're now looking at that EBU. That will hopefully open up doors for you to get a world shot. But well, yes. since you're not, getting, you're not getting any younger, time ain't waiting for no one. So it's very important that these, these things open up for it, you, isn't it? It's the next step. It's... Uh, you know, we, we can drop back down, but we don't want to. We're, we're moving on, we're, we're at that level. Um, yeah, we can pick that up and it, we can still do it, you know what I mean? The World Honours is still there, we, we can pick this European up. Um, yeah, it's been frustrating, it's been a long old road, but you know, we're almost there again. Um, yeah, it's just, just sitting and waiting now. If you do get the Rocco over here, Am I right in thinking you'll be choosing the stall? Which stall you have to be on? Nah, it, it, look, it's, it's done. It's, it's, as, as you said earlier, James, it's in the past now, and you know we move forward, and you know it's, it's we fight him again, and then we we go through and sort everything out for that. But no, if it comes over here, great. It, you know, it gives us a better advantage, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but if we have to go back over there, if it does, we go. It's, it's as simple as that. We can't hold Lenny's career back just by deciding we don't want to go to Italy. So if we have to, we will. What's Mick Hennessy said about this? Is, is there any contact with Hennessy Sports ongoing? What, what, um, what's the we, we spoke to Mick, we had a great sit down <coughs> chat with Mick and, and sorted out and planned out a bit of a route of the way we're going to go. Um, we're just waiting. Purse bids are July the 1st. And then obviously we see what Mick puts in and, and, and what we get out of it, whether, whether Mick wins it. If he does, then great, we'll have it over here. Um, so we're just waiting on that really, James. And then obviously the boxing politics that comes alongside all that. So a bit of a waiting yeah, game, yeah. yeah. But does it get frustrating from your from your side of things? Of course you... it does. It's very hard training wise. You know, what am I doing? Is it happening? Do I, you know what I mean? It's mm. so you just got to stay in. You know what I mean? And uh, we, you know, we, we want to try and get a run out if we can. But if you know, if it comes up, it comes up. We got to grab it. So yeah, we so we've been in the gym a while now, so we're in great shape. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to to what's coming ahead. I mean, I don't want to bring this up, but if you don't fight, you don't get paid. So it no, must be right. frustrating for yourself. Where, it is, yeah. As well as wanting to fulfil your ambitions yeah. and dreams, you've got to live in the real world and pay your bills, haven't oh, you? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You've got to run out. And, and July the 18th, we're having a run out. Um, we're just waiting for a date, of, uh, like, for the 18th to be confirmed and the venue to be confirmed. Mm. But we're good. Lenny's going to have a, an eight-round run out then. Um, by that time, sort of negotiations would have started after the purse bids have gone in. So, yeah. you know, we're keeping busy. As he's, Lenny said, he's busy in the gym. We've got great sparring, as you say, with uh, Romeo. Um, so he's just really sorting it out. And once we get the 18th out of the way, then we look to move forward and hopefully pin down that European shot. I mean, it would love, be great for Lenny to obviously tie it in with Tyson Fury and Vladimir Klitschko. To get on the undercard of that, oh, so right, for an EBU yeah. title, would be a great fight, probably Cracking. out to the card, you know Cracking. what I mean? You know, and it's obviously with me involved, it's, it's feasible. Well, so, can't um, it happen, yeah. you know, mm. we'll see. I'm going to get on a blow to Tom Lofer tonight, see if I can pull a few IFL TV strings, lads. I'm sure, listen, there's enough strings with that IFL, like, so you know, I think you can. You can do it, you can yeah. do it. <laughs> if it can be done, we shall have it done. Do Too right. Yeah, that's it, mate. All right, well, listen, as I said, thanks for giving me a bit of time today. I said, is there anything uh, we should be touching on before I disappear? No, we're all good, thank you, mate. As I say, we're looking at July the 18th, venue to be decided. Hopefully we'll have the result of the purse by then, nice and positive for the 18th, and then move forward, and then hopefully we'll, well, 
we will go and capture the European. Yeah. All right, well, when, when Lenny wins that European, I, for one, will be lobbying Definitely. for Lenny to be a knighthood of Merton. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll get him involved. First British yes. champion from the area, so needs to be recognised. Definitely. Thanks for giving me a bit of time, lads. Thank Cheers, you, mate. James. Cheers, mate. <laughs>